Well, hello there. This is Virtual Chess Noob learning and having fun with chess. I'm on the other side of the screen today because I'm doing a bit of a screen capture to show you a really, really cool tool I've discovered and have been using. Something to make high quality black and white chess diagrams designed for printing. Now, I've recently been working on my second book, and I'll just give you a bit of a very, very quick peek. Uh, there we go, very, very early draft. Um, and as you can see, with these um, sort of diagrams, I'm making them this time in black and white, so that even on the less, in, uh, less expensive print options, it should come out very clear, very crisp. Unfortunately, color printing on the lower quality print quality doesn't come out that well. But how do we make these diagrams? Um, now, these are actually true type fonts, so they come out very, very crisply. They're not, um, they're not images, so they won't get blurred or smeared in printing. Well, the program that I've discovered is something called Diag Transfer, written by a Frenchman, Alain Blaisut. Now, the way to find his website and to find his program, if you go to Google uh, and search for Diag Transfer, now, his website might not come as the first hit, but you should go to his actual website. You can see alanblasut.free.fr. Most of these other software repositories don't have the most recent version. And at the moment, it's version 4.3. Now, I will say downloading, uh, downloading his program is a little bit slow uh, from his website. So, uh, it's quite a small program, under three megabytes, but it did take quite a while. So I have mirrored it on my blog, um, and I've linked it to my Dropbox, uh, so it should download very, very quickly. But of course, if you want to get the software straight from the source, it's guaranteed to be safe, you can just go to the original, uh, the original website. Now, this bit of software, what it can do is it can create these diagrams. It comes with a chess font, um, but the chess font uh, that uh, comes included is probably not the highest quality font, but on his website, he links to where you can get other free chess fonts. So his software works with a range of different fonts. So this is the font um, that comes with his software. Chess Alpha is not too bad. Uh, however, the one I really like is Chess Merida, and that's the one I've been using actually in my new book. And if you go to this link, you can download them uh, for free. Really, really, really good. Now, this is a window piece of software, so sorry, Mac owners. I'm not sure if it works under uh, emulation on the Mac. I, I suppose it probably would. It's not a very special bit of software. But let me show you what it looks like and what you can do. Now, firstly, I'm just going to create a, a completely new document. There we go. So let's see this bit of software in action. It's got a lot of functions. I'm just going to focus on the core functionality, being able to copy a chess diagram uh, and then paste it into Word, Microsoft Word. So let's import uh, from a PGN file. So here we go, Ponziani Steinitz Gambit. There we go, double click, and you can see through all the positions. I'm just going to do import or, okay, there we go. and. You know, you can go from the beginning. There we are, the Ponziani Steinitz Gambit position. Now, in the edit, font size for copy, I've said to font size 20. Uh, and in terms of uh, the copy, I don't want to copy the border, just the, just the board itself. Uh, and you can see, uh, copy RTF mode. Now, I've done that once before, so I'm just going to press Control C. And now let's go back to Word. Control V, there we go. And if I wanted to, I can sort of make this larger. So let's say to 48, there we are. Very, very nice. Now, I'm just gonna change that back to a smaller size. And if we wanted to uh, reverse, then the view, we can flip the board. It's also Alt-I, again, Control C. And let's go back to Word. Control V, beautiful. 
absolutely lovely and this just makes it so nice and because these are fonts uh, it's um, you know just the the sizes of the files are really small in my first book because I made all the diagrams images bitmaps the actual size of the PDF actually completely blew out and of course if I compress the images the quality of the board images of board diagrams degrades as well this is pure black and white it should print really well even on uh, on just a black and white print. I think this is a really excellent way if you want to create um, a pamphlet or a book uh, or um, something like a magazine type sub submission, something that's going to be printed out or definitely shown on a screen in very, very high quality. This is a fantastic option. So let's zoom that all the way in. Zoom, let's say all the way to 200. You can see, you know, looks really good. Let's zoom even more. Let's 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 bump that up to 400%. You can see these are absolutely crisp, beautiful diagrams. Anyway, uh, that's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoy. Try out the program. It's free. It's really really good to use.